birds are a spectacular animal. Both fascinating and often beautiful, they add color and song to our skies, backyards, parks, and reserves right throughout the globe. But there are some that simply have the edge above others. From the stunning peafowl with the metallic blue head to one of the most magnificent members of the pigeon family, here are 15 most beautiful birds on planet Earth. Number 15. Indian Peafowl Well known across the globe for their exquisite train and plumage, the Indian Blue Peafowl is native to both India and Sri Lanka. With its fan-shaped crest, metallic blue head, bright blue neck and upper body, and magnificent train, the male of the species, the peacock, is quite the showstopper. When he spreads his train out for all to see, it provides quite the display. Surprisingly, this train is discarded in January to make way for a new one. It grows at a rapid pace, just in time for breeding season. The delicate and colorful train is also made from long ornamental features, not true tail feathers. Elongated upper tail coverts with black eye spots on the rounded tips work together to create what is essentially a masterpiece. This complicated arrangement of multiple colors and eye spots is thought to be an advantage, making sure the male stands out amongst his peers. The female, however, relies on more than just looks when picking her mate, with behavioral displays and genetic traits all heavily considered. Not unlike us humans, I guess. Considered one of the largest flying birds, the peafowl can weigh up to 6 kilograms and has a wingspan of between 1.4 and 1.6 meters. Their diet generally consists of grains, insects, small reptiles, small mammals, and berries. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or Slenderman will come from under your bed while you're sleeping. Number 14. Nicobar Pigeon a fascinating little bird with brightly colored plumage, the Nicobar pigeon is one of the most beautiful of the many species of pigeons or doves on the planet today. They are the only living member of the genus Caulenus and can be found on the small islands in the coastal regions of Nicobar, southwest peninsular Thailand, Malaysia, Vietnam, Indonesia, Philippines, Solomons, and Palau. Their preferred habitats are the mangroves and lowland forests, but they do tend to be quite nomadic, often traveling from island to island. This pigeon was once found in abundance, but their numbers in the wild are rapidly declining. They're popular in the pet trade, hunted in considerable numbers for food, and available nesting habitats are decreasing. Their gizzard stone is also often used in costume jewelry. Although it is generally illegal to trap and sell the bird to the pet market, this does not stop people from doing so. Fortunately, captive breeding can supply the birds demanded by zoos, so people are still able to view these attractive and unusual pigeons. But for just how long is anyone's guess. Number 13. Mandarin Duck This gorgeous little character really does stand out. In fact, when paired with its ordinary relative, the mandarin duck doesn't even look real. A small, exotic-looking bird, they are described as a perching duck species native to the East Palearctic. As perching ducks, they tend to exist in small groups and often gather high up in trees, nesting and sleeping there. Your ordinary run-of-the-mill duck tends to keep to ground level, sleeping and nesting on the ground. The mandarin duck is found at lakes and parks, usually with nearby trees so they can perch when required. It is closely related to the North American wood duck and is native to East Asia. Feral populations have been established throughout Western Europe as well. The male of the species, like our friend the Indian peafowl, is slightly more striking than the female. He has very big orangey sail fins on his back. 
These are large feathers that set up like boat sails. His orange cheeks are streaked, and he has a small red bill with a whitish tip. The female is more like the wood duck, with white eye rings that look like spectacles, a shaggy gray head, bold, pale, dappled spots along her flanks, and a pale tip to her bill. These beautiful birds are mainly found in pairs, but are known to gather in larger flocks over the cooler months. Number 12. Victoria Crowned Pigeon when the word pigeon is thrown around, you immediately think of the ordinary looking bird that deposits poop all over our buildings. Not a beautiful bird with a stylish headpiece. As it happens, there are 344 species of birds recognized as belonging to the Columbidae family, a family that includes both pigeons and doves. Of these, approximately 175 species are pigeons. The Victoria crowned pigeon is one of the more beautiful of the species. Unlike its many common relatives, this bird is pretty much royalty. I mean, check out its name for starters. An unexpected beauty in a bunch of relatively ordinary birds, this pigeon is both elegant and stunning. In fact, many have labeled it the supermodel of the pigeon world. What makes this bird so special is the intricate crown upon its head. The large, bluish-gray pigeon has an elegant blue lace-like crest and a dark maroon-colored breast. Originally found in the tropical rainforests of New Guinea, the pigeon has been introduced to nearby islands and has been bred in captivity for hundreds of years. Today, these glorious birds are a common sight in zoos and aviaries throughout the United States and the United Kingdom. Quite the regal specimen, they are intelligent and easy to tame. They also like plenty of room to exercise and stretch their legs and a warm environment. These birds cannot tolerate temperatures below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, so if you're looking to adopt one, you had best make sure you are prepared. They might be beautiful, but they are also very fussy. Number 11. Horned Sun Gem this delightful little specimen is a hummingbird. The horned sun gem is a stunning example of the species, with the male particularly beautiful. This species has a short, straight bill and a dark blue crown with red, blue, and gold tufted horns at either side. Elsewhere, the little bird is largely metallic green and white with a black throat. It is darker again at the base, so is quite the little rainbow. Once again, the male is the more beautiful of the two sexes, with the female lacking the colorful tufted horns. She has a green cap and a white throat with a largely metallic green, white, and brown body. The horned sun gem is just one of many hummingbird species. There are believed to be between 325 and 340 species of these little birds. They are the smallest of birds, most measuring between 7.5 and 13 centimeters in length. The smallest is the bee, which is 5 centimeters long and weighs just 2 grams. These birds were given the name hummingbird because of the sound created by their beating wings. The high frequency noise is even audible to humans. Number 10. Gouldian Finch Like the Mandarin duck, the Gouldian Finch is stunningly beautiful. Its plumage features almost every color of the rainbow, hence why it is often referred to as Rainbow Finch. Native to Australia, this small bird is described as one of the most beautiful of all the pet bird species. Now finches are one of the smallest group of birds in Australia and they feed mostly on seed from our native grasses. Not only does it have a brilliant, vibrant plumage, the Gouldian finch also has a lovely personality. Relatively shy, it is a real favorite amongst those who prefer to bird watch rather than handle them. It is, however, quite the social butterfly when it comes to its friends and will happily gather with other birds of its kind. These birds make an excellent display in a large enclosure and are often a popular choice in public aviaries. 
Both the male and female of the species are brightly colored, and neither is very vocal. Instead, they prefer to emit a low chirping sound that is pleasant to the ear. For those thinking of keeping one as a pet, rest assured the neighbors are unlikely to complain with this one. Although they are considered a popular choice for families with children or the elderly, the Gouldian is a rather sensitive bird and may not be the right fit for a first-time bird owner. Easily stressed and quite susceptible to illness and the cold, conditions must be just right to keep them happy and healthy. Number 9. Golden Pheasant This beautiful bird is a game bird and part of the Phasianidae family. The golden pheasant is a heavy-bodied, ground-feeding bird like several others, including the turkey, grouse, and guinea fowl. This particular bird, though hunted, is shy and surprisingly difficult to find in mixed and conifer woodland, where it runs and hides from detected disturbance. You would think with bright red and gold plumage, the stunning male of the species would be easy to spot, but apparently not. His vibrant appearance is unmistakable. With a gold and black head, dark red breast, and colorful back, this guy is gorgeous. Again, the female differs markedly from her male counterpart. In fact, you could describe her as bland in comparison. Predominantly brown with the occasional hint of orange, her presence would be easily disguised in the wild. They feed on grain, leaves, and invertebrates, foraging close to human settlements during the winter months. Although they don't roost in trees at night, they can fly in short bursts, but prefer to sun and spend most of their time on the ground. Native to the forests of western China, these birds are primarily located in mountainous areas. Feral populations have also been established in several other countries, including the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, and even New Zealand. Number 8. Rainbow Lorikeet This species of parrot is widely found in the eastern and northern parts of Australia and also around Perth. Sweet-natured and vibrantly brilliant, the rainbow lorikeet had become established by the late 1960s. The population had expanded by the 1980s, which caused problems in the wild. Although not normally an aggressive bird, they can become quite territorial around nesting hollows, and have been known to prevent native birds from nesting. Footage has even been recorded of them dragging the nestlings of Australian ringnecks out of their hollows and dropping them to the ground. Once they have disposed of the previous occupant, they will happily occupy the hollow themselves. There's no denying they are a beautiful bird, but they are also busybodies and like to be in the middle of all the action. This makes them a fabulous bird for public aviaries as they happily interact with visitors. The rainbow lorikeet isn't shy and, like a young puppy, it will let you know when it needs attention. With a bright red beak and colorful plumage, both the male and female of this species are unmistakable. They often hang out in fast-moving flocks and, as dusk falls, they come home to roost in groups. Number 7. Turico These brightly colored birds are normally blue, green, or purple, with the exception being the go-away bird that is mainly just gray and white. Turicos are a medium-sized, tree-dwelling bird that are endemic to sub-Saharan Africa, the continent that lies south of the Sahara. Very few birds are endemic to Africa, but the Turico is one of them. It happily lives in forests, woodlands, and savanna. They are social animals that tend to form cooperative societies, moving in family groups of up to ten. A non-migratory bird, the Turico permanently lives and nests in the same geographical area all its life. Although they are social birds, they nest by themselves and, whilst nesting, the female bird is fed regurgitated fruit by the male. There are 18 species of these colorful, fruit-hunting birds, and most prefer dense, broad-leaved evergreen forest. The go-away bird, however, is often found in more open woodland. 
Because of their brightly colored feathers, the Turaco has been valued by native people for many years. In South Africa, these feathers symbolize the Zulu king, a king who didn't allow anyone else to wear the feathers. Number 6. Macaws Large and vibrantly colored, these beautiful birds are quite the attention seeker. In fact, if you try and ignore them, they'll create a racket so loud you won't be able to help but give them what they want. These large birds are often seen as intimidating, but the macaw is a social character that just loves affection. If they're socialized well, they can also make quite the doting companion, which is good news for the lonely bird lover. Described as the giants of the parrot family, the hyacinth macaw is the longest parrot, measuring nearly 40 inches from head to tail. There are 18 living species of these beautiful birds. They are informally classified into two groups, the large macaws and mini macaws. These birds are native to the southern portion of North America, Central America, and South America, with evidence showing they may have also inhabited the Caribbean at one time. The macaw prefers to inhabit rainforests, grasslands, and grassy woodland-type areas. As with other members of the parrot family, they feed on native seeds, fruits, flowers, leaves, palm nuts, figs, and nectar. In some regions, such as Peru, they have been observed eating clay at exposed riverbanks. Researchers believe they do this to neutralize toxins found in some of their food. Number 5. Flamingo These famous pink birds are classed as a type of wading bird. They belong to the Phoenicopteridae family and can be found in warm, watery regions on many continents, including the Americas and the Caribbean. Two species are native to Africa, Asia, and Europe. The long-legged birds prefer environments like estuaries and saline or alkaline lakes. Although they are surprisingly good swimmers, flamingos thrive on the extensive mudflats where they breed and feed. With their stilt-like legs, large curved bills, and beautiful plumage in shades of white or gray, pink or orange, these birds are easily one of the most recognized across the globe. Surprisingly, the color of their plumage is actually due to the pigment molecules in their food. For example, those that feed on blue-green algae are normally darker than those who eat crustaceans. The greater flamingo is the largest of the species, with a height ranging from 3.5 to 5 feet tall. The bird can weigh anywhere up to 8.8 .8 pounds, making it significantly larger than the lesser flamingo that tips the scales at just 6 pounds at best. Although they are fussy when it comes to their habitat, the flamingo is an omnivorous bird. It will feed on anything from blue-green algae, brine shrimp and insects, to crustaceans and mollusks. To feed, they stir up the mud beneath their feet and dip their bills upside down into the water to filter out the food. Number 4. Golden Parakeet This gorgeous bird looks like a true blue Aussie. With its bright yellow and green plumage, it would fit right in down under, wouldn't you say? A medium-sized golden yellow neotropical or new world parrot, the golden parakeet is native to the Amazon basin of interior northern Brazil. A stunning bird, the parakeet is one of about 150 species all found throughout South and Central America, Mexico, and the Caribbean islands. Some have also been discovered on a few Pacific islands, including the Galapagos. Without a doubt, the golden parakeet is a beautiful bird, but it also has a charming personality. These very special parrots make a very nice and affectionate companion pet. Not only are they friendly, but they are also sassy, smart, and very entertaining. What more could you want from a pet? Unfortunately, the golden parakeet is considered quite rare, and as such, they are an expensive purchase. A number of their habitats are threatened by deforestation and flooding, and it is now illegal to trap the wild variety for the pet trade. 
Active pets, they love to climb, chew, and play. So those lucky enough to have one steal their heart should be diligent. These birds need strict supervision when exercising outside their cages in case they get into mischief, or worse still, have an accident. Their overwhelming curiosity has them trying all sorts of things. Not unlike an inquisitive toddler, really. Number 3. Oriental Dwarf Kingfisher this little brightly colored kingfisher is really very cute, not to mention beautiful. The gorgeous and tiny oriental dwarf kingfisher is a forest dweller with a bright coral red dagger bill. It uses this bill to forage for food and capture its prey. Also known as the black-backed kingfisher or three-toed kingfisher, the miniature kingfisher has a dark blue back and wings and pale orange underparts. They have a fuchsia red crown with a slightly darker spot on the forehead, and blue and white patches can be seen on each side of their neck. The chin and throat are white, so they're quite the colorful character, not unlike the macaw and the rainbow parakeet. They may be little, but the oriental dwarf kingsfisher is actually quite loud, and their piercing high, thin calls can be heard even when they're in full flight mode. Their flights are normally swift and direct. They know where they want to go, and they want to get there as fast as possible, even expertly maneuvering through thick vegetation when required. Unfortunately, due to their size and bright markings, they can be an easy target for predators, so they're often found along drying hill streams far away from water sources. Number 2. Himalayan Monal this stunning pheasant is native to the Himalayan forests and shrublands. Officially titled Impeyan Monal or Impeyan Pheasant to commemorate Lady Marie Impey, the wife of British Chief Justice of Bengal, Sir Elijah Impey, the Himalayan Monal is part of the Phasianidae family. It is also the national bird of Nepal. As with many other bird species, it is the male that is the most spectacular. His plumage combines 12 iridescent colors, whilst the females are a duller, earthy brown. These birds spend their days foraging for food on the forest floor using their long, curved beaks to dig in the undergrowth. Excellent diggers, they can dive down deep up to 10 inches under the ground. Himalayan monals are often found in groups or pairs, and they're sadly hunted for both their food and feathers, quite surprising given their status as a national bird. Although they are popular with hunters, their numbers are still well above those of other species, and they are listed as least concern on the IUCN red list. These birds live in mostly upper temperate oak conifer forests interspersed with open grassy slopes, cliffs, and alpine meadows, and have a native range that extends from Afghanistan and Pakistan through the Himalayas in India, Nepal, southern Tibet, and Bhutan. Number 1. Cockatoo These beautiful birds stand out amongst the crowd, not only because of their dramatic crest feathers, but also because they are quite the character. Part of the parrot family, the cockatoo has made a popular pet for many over the years. It enjoys company and is known to mimic human behavior, including speech. Highly sociable, cockatoos are mostly white with touches of red or yellow. However, there are some that are pink and gray, blue, and even black. They use their massive beaks for cracking nuts, digging up roots, or prying grubs out from inside wood. A showy and affectional bird, there are many caged as pets. The sulfur-crested cockatoo is especially popular with families. It is mainly white and found in northern and eastern Australia and New Guinea. The gala, however, is the most widespread of the cockatoo family. They are pink with gray wings and can often be seen swooping through Australian skies in noisy flocks. Many visitors and residents are woken by their unique squawk before the sun is even up. For those keen on having a cockatoo as a pet, you will need a steady supply of appropriate chew toys. You'll also need to set clear boundaries as these birds tend to be needier than other pet parrot species. 
species. Both beautiful and majestic, birds add more than a touch of color to our world, they add plenty of sound. Singing from the rooftops, treetops, and everywhere in between, each bird has their own distinctive sound and personality. Some are graceful and quiet, whereas others are needy and noisy. But whatever the case may be, they are all individuals and add plenty of interest and intrigue to our planet. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!